Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Motion Brittany, guys. Another video, guys. I just want to apologize for not being here the past two days. I was extremely sick, but not only that, I would have made videos for you even being sick, but we changed internet, which kind of sucks because, one, we used to run 100 upload and 100 download, which is really good, and then all of a sudden, my dad switched over to 100 upload or 100 download and only 7 uploads. So uploading speeds are extremely slow right now, so that's why I haven't been streaming or anything like that. So I do want to apologize for that we're trying to get things worked out trying to see if we can upgrade on the internet but with that being said guys let's get into the video so there's been a lot of stuff that i missed there's been like new skins coming out there's been a whole bunch of new things that had happened and i wanted to do a giveaway on that last skin that just dropped but it's too late it already dropped by the time we actually pick the winners for that giveaway it's gonna be over with the time will be expired and it'll be time for a new skin so sadly i can't do it on that skin giveaway i apologize for that but if you guys do want more skin giveaways give this video a thumbs up if we can kill like a thousand likes on this video I'll say, fuck it, why not? And we'll just go ahead and do a giveaway on the skin anyways. But with that being said, as you guys have seen in the gameplays and stuff like that, these TVs have been hacked. So basically, if you don't remember from season three, uh, we had the llama news, breaking news, stuff like that happened when the meteor was about to strike because it was basically saying breaking news, the meteor is coming in, take cover, be careful and stuff like that on the TVs all over the Fortnite map. Now we're seeing a new image which looks like a skull. Now this skull is the evil villain Lair and all of a sudden the second the Blockbuster skin gets released from the uh, meteor from the middle of the map, that's when we're starting to see weird things happening like the TVs being hacked and stuff like that. So this, this Blockbuster skin that everyone's hyped up about, this is the actual villain. I was 100% right about this when I said I think that this is the actual villain where he's really trying to destroy the Fortnite map and the other ones were just actors from the loading screen that we've seen the other ones were just doing a part of a movie so i still think the omega and carbide are going to be on the same team they're going to fight together and try to win over the fortnite map they're going to end up fighting the blockbuster skin and the new skin that just dropped yesterday now i've been getting a lot of tweets of people me asking me yo motion what is this going on with the tvs what does this mean and stuff like that now if you use your your, your best basically just guessing and using your educated guess it it means that we got hacked you guys and the fortnite map is getting hacked by the blockbuster skin the visitor and it means that there's going to be something bad happening if you actually go over to the super evil villain layer you can actually see that you're able to launch the missile and according to the nintendo switch which this is leaked information the Nintendo switch version shows something different than what we're used to seeing over on PC Xbox or PlayStation we see just the image of the skull now over on Nintendo switch there was actually a countdown timer now that countdown timer ends on Tuesday which means something is going to happen this Tuesday you guys and then of course over on Twitter two epic buddies went into the game files and they ended up finding some information where basically we're allowed to launch the missile and control it so we're going to be able to actually go to that meteor or or the secret layer and we're going to be able to control the missile and launch it i don't know exactly what that means what it's going to do but this kind of upsets me because this means that the missile is not going to be anything serious we're not going to be able to take advantage of it and actually see a map change within the game because if we're able to control it that means there's going to be hundreds and thousands of people being able to control this missile they're going to pick where it goes i don't know if it's going to kill somebody or what i don't know how big the damage is going to be but of course you guys already know on tuesday morning the second the update happens your boy's gonna go ahead and try to launch this missile himself for you guys on a video so we can find out exactly what happens if it's gonna do big damage if it's gonna actually change the map like that'll be cool if you launch the missile and wherever you hit like it's a big explosion and everyone in that area dies it does suck because like if you go tilt the towers and someone launches the missile there and all like 16 people are there they all just die instantly that'll suck for you um but if you are the one that launched the missile and you get 16 kills that easy that'll be freaking awesome man and also to to think about it not only do you kill people but what if the map changes for that game like what if that whole area of tilted towers gets wiped out completely and it's all just dirt like that'll be actually really cool if we can see that happen within the game but do i actually see that happening no but you never know so that's why i'm just making an assumption that if that does happen it'll be pretty dang cool now what i was expecting was at the end of the season we're going to have the blockbuster skin or the visitor skin he's going to end up launching the missile somewhere on the map now a lot of people are saying moisey wire because it's like a, a low populated place no one really goes to that side of the map so they're thinking that hey moisey Meyer is going to be the location that the bomb actually goes off at but if you think about it we all guessed that tilted towers was going to be destroyed by the meteors in season three why did we guess this we weren't just trying to guess randomly we were making educated guesses because the, the dev team 
game, the developers that made this game, they tweeted out and stuff like that on Reddit saying that they don't like how Tilted Towers is always the most packed place and they, they want the map to be diverse, people to go everywhere within the map. So that's why the dev team wanted to remove Tilted Towers. By the way, if you hear the squeaky toy, it's my dogs in the background playing around like crazy. I don't know why they're so hyper, but I apologize for that. But yeah, they wanted the Tilted Towers to be destroyed, but Tilted Towers only got touched by a small meteor, so we still can land at Tilted Towers and stuff like that. So what does this mean? Maybe, maybe this rocket is going to end up destroying Tilted Towers because if you think about it, if you're a super villain and you're trying to do something devastating, what is one thing you're going to do as a super villain? You're going to want to destroy as many people in the most populated city as possible because that's what super villains do. They try to devastate the, the, the map or basically the earth as much as they possibly can. And the most dramatic spot in the map would probably be Tilted Towers. Like what if the end of season four, this is what they wanted to do was destroy Tilted Towers finally and, and start off with something new and make something new. Now, a lot of people are forgetting that Tilted Towers was one of the most voted places to actually get destroyed by the meteor. Now, people did not want it to get destroyed, but it was still a very suggested spot. A lot of people made educated guesses saying, hey, it's going to end up being that general area. So how come we all forgot about Tilted Towers being destroyed? This can still be an option because it doesn't change the devs team mind. Tilted Towers is probably still... Now I do agree that Moisey Meyer is pretty boring and not a lot of people go there. But Tilted Towers, if they get rid of that, that means a, a good population or percentage of people that love landing there, they're going to have to land somewhere else and pushing them outside. Now, Moisey Meyer, we do need to change that up. Now, Moisey Meyer is kind of boring. It, there's nothing really there. They did try to change it up by adding the whole movie scene, but there's nothing special over on that side of the map. Like, after Moisey Meyer, there's no other cities that you can actually rotate to, so not a lot of people end up going there. So if the missile does hit Moisey Meyer, I would be okay with that. Now, if it hits Tilted Towers, if I am correct about this and the meteor or not the meteor the actual missile hits tilted towers this is going to change the game a lot because a lot of pro players or a lot of people that go for high kill games really like going to tilted towers because that's where you have to go to actually get a lot of kills now if they actually start making a lot of cities here and there close to each other this means that people are going to end up rotating really early so they're going to end up winning over that city and rotate to the next city a lot quicker but it's going to mean that people are going to spread out a little bit more and if that's what the dev team wants they want people to actually loot up before they start fighting at the beginning of the game then that is a smart idea for them to shoot tilted towers with the missile now again this is all theories that i had before that i knew the missile was going to actually be launchable for us this morning i actually found out that news that we can control the missile I have no clue what's going to happen with that, you guys. I mean, literally, my thoughts on that whole theory is it's just going to be crazy because if we're going to be able to kill people launching that missile, not only is the whole entire t map going to land at the evil villain lair, but it's going to be, there's not enough loot there. It's going to be so hectic. Everyone's going to be sitting there pickaxing each other. It's going to be wild and crazy. Now, I don't know exactly why they have this plan, but again, Fortnite, they are smart. They are very good at making their games and the storyline behind their games. Games. So I definitely think they have a plan and idea what to do next. But that's basically my two cents and what has been going on so far in Season 4 of Fortnite. Now, again, I do love the storylines that they do with Fortnite because it adds characters to the game. It makes the game a lot more fun and interesting to play. But that's my opinions. You guys got to leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'm reading every single comment. For the first hour, I will reply to every comment for the first hour. And after that, I will read every single comment. And if your, your theory is actually pretty good, I will go ahead and pin that comment to the top of the comment so everyone can see it and stuff like that so let me know down in the comment section below what do you think is going to happen with this whole missile like what's going on with the omega is omega and carbide going to team up try to fight them out or what do you guys think is going to happen now if this stuff is true i think it'll be an awesome trailer or thing that's going to happen in season four of fortnite but with that being said you guys thank you so much for coming to the video i do apologize for missing some days so tomorrow i'll tell you what tomorrow if this video breaks 500 likes in today I will do a giveaway tomorrow for you guys, just personally, so that way you guys understand that, like, that's truly how sorry I am that I was gone for so long. It was just my sickness. It really sucked. But thank you guys so much for everything, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.